God says, It is indeed fascinating that we, as human beings, accept the existence of many things in the world without physically seeing them. For example, we don't see tomorrow, yet we plan and prepare for it with the hope and belief that it will come. Similarly, we cannot physically see the content of a test paper before we take the exam, but we trust that by studying and revising the material, we can gain knowledge and understanding leading to better test scores. Some may argue that skepticism towards God arises from the lack of tangible evidence, unlike other things we accept. However, faith itself involves a degree of trust without concrete evidence. It's about opening one's heart and mind to the possibility of a higher power beyond the material world. Moreover, the concept of God being everywhere is a central tenet in many religious beliefs. God's omnipresence means he is present in every aspect of the world, guiding, watching over, and sustaining it. Despite not seeing God with our physical eyes, many individuals claim to feel his presence in their lives. In moments of peace, strength, and inspiration, it is understandable that people may have doubts and questions. Faith is a deeply personal journey, and doubt is a natural part of human thought. It can be a driving force for seeking answers and understanding. Emphasizing that the message is delivered out of love and not anger is important, as open dialogue and respect for differing perspectives can foster understanding and growth. Ultimately, the invitation to give God a chance is an invitation to explore the realm of faith, to seek a deeper connection with something beyond the visible and tangible. For those who have found comfort, purpose, and meaning in their faith, the belief in God becomes a guiding light, a source of hope and love in an often uncertain world. In conclusion, the analogy of God as something unseen, but present in our lives, like tomorrow or a test paper, can serve as a way to encourage reflection on the nature of belief and faith. While not everyone may share the same beliefs, acknowledging and respecting the diversity of perspectives can lead to meaningful conversations about spirituality and the search for purpose and meaning in life. God's love for you is infinite and unwavering, even in the midst of suffering and pain. It's natural to question why we have to endure hardships and difficulties, but it's essential to understand that God doesn't inflict suffering upon us to see us in pain. Rather, these trials are opportunities for growth, learning and drawing closer to Him. In the face of unbearable pain, it might be tempting to feel abandoned or uncared for by God. However, that couldn't be further from the truth. God walks beside you, holding your hand through the darkest times. He understands your pain and invites you to cry out to him, to lean on his strength and seek solace in his presence. The pain you are experiencing is not permanent, it is temporary. God has a plan for you, and ahead lies something greater, filled with peace, love, and serenity. Type yes if you believe in God. God bless you.